Hey everyone, welcome to React Native Made Easy Tutorial. Today we are going to do another part of React Native and GraphQL tutorials. In the first part, we just uh, set up, did the setup for React Native and GraphQL, and we also see, uh, we also saw that uh, how we can make GraphQL work with React Native. So this part is continuation of uh, last part of tutorial and we will make some modification to the code we did in the last part and we will uh, make uh, that code uh, perform some more operations uh, that is basically the CRUD operation. So in last part we just uh, displayed the uh, working of uh, GraphQL with React Native, a simple working but in this part we will do the complete CRUD operations that is, that is we will create uh, create uh, records, we will uh, read, we will uh, edit, we will update and we will delete records. So uh, this will be uh, this will be a more advanced uh, tutorial than the last one and you will surely get to know and learn much more than what you did last time. So uh, let's see what we are going to do in this tutorial. So uh, in last tutorial we created a component called uh, list users that was basically listing the users that we had in the backend. So this time we will mod we have modified that uh, component to perform the delete operation as well as initiate the edit operation. So if you if you see this component uh, at the uh, end of the component, just below the uh, the mute, uh, the query that we we were making uh, in the last uh, tutorial, we have added a delete user mutation. So this mutation is for deleting a specific row of the user, and we are just taking the ID and we are deleting the row from the backend and uh, as soon as we uh, perform this operation this won't automatically uh, change the uh, data on the UI that is user interface so we have to uh, manipulate the uh, GraphQL uh, cache store uh, using uh, the imperative, imperative uh, API that is provided by GraphQL and we will manipulate the <coughs> store so that the UI is up to date uh, as per the whatever is in the backend. So here you can see that we are using the imperative uh, API and we are changing the cache store and uh, deleting the row from the UI that has been deleted from the backend. So, uh, the, so the two things the th uh, two things that need notice here is the delete mutation and the imperative UI sorry the imperative API that we are using and the third thing is that uh, the way we have wrapped the delete user mutation with uh, this GraphQL because uh, in the last part of tutorial we were just using one uh, mute, uh, one query in one component but here we are using one <coughs> query as well as one uh, mutation so whenever we have more than uh, one mutation or more than one query or a combination of query and mutation then we can just nest it like this and we can use we can just connect it with the component that we are using so this you can see how we have nested it so our this is what our list user component is doing and uh, one more thing that is that we are doing in the list user component is that we are initiating the edit process so when user is uh, clicking on the a particular edit uh, a link for a row then the ID of that row is being passed to the 
uh, the another component that is performing the update operation so we will see uh, how we are doing that so we, uh, in this component we are just initiating that process and uh, this is our next component that is create user component so in the last tutorial we were just uh, creating records and creating data uh, in this component but in this part of tutorial we will we are creating data as well as we are updating it so the id that is being sent by the uh, edit uh, so the list user component is getting used here and we are using that same id to update the data in the backend using update user mutation so you can see that just above create user mutation we have update user mutation and uh, the way we were updating the cache and the ui using the imperative api the same way we uh, in the delete in the list user component the same way we are doing it here and we are updating the uh, the ui with the imperative api here you can see the update uh, uh, function is here and we are reading from the store and we are writing to the store so that the ui can have the latest data whatever is in the backend so that is basically what we are doing in these two components the main two components and to establish a communication between these two components that is when the edit uh, for edit for, for update operation when the id is being sent from list user to the create user we are establishing a communication using this main user component and this main user component is also wrapping this uh, two components that is create user and list user so you can just uh, see here the code is very simple we are using states uh, the component state to establish communication between these two components and that's it that's what uh, makes our CRUD operation work for our app and CRUD, uh, it's important to understand CRUD operation because if you know CRUD operation for a specific technology, you can uh, create many apps using just the CRUD operation. Uh, you can implement many concepts and many ideas using that CRUD operation and create various types of apps. So this, this tutorial just showed you how you can perform CRUD operation using uh, React Native and GraphQL. And let's go ahead and see how this app is working. So here we have this app. I'm using the same exact code that I have on my website here. Create user, list user, and main user. So that's it. So let's go ahead and see things in action. So I will, first I will create we have three uh, names here. I will add one more name. Okay, so you, you can see that uh, I just added James Bond and as soon as it uh, got created in the backend it is also updated in the UI so let's go ahead and check the backend whether it's really created or not okay so you can see here we have James Bond and it has been successfully created in the backend now let's go ahead and change make modification to this row so I created edit and this changed into confirm edit so let's confirm edit okay now the this name is in the text box and now we can modify it so I will make it jabond and let's go ahead and tap update user okay so you can see as soon as the update user was tapped uh, this the u the data on the ui as well changed this is happening because of the imperative ui 
that I showed you the update function that we are using so we are manually manipulating the cache store of GraphQL this is really advanced feature provided by GraphQL and this allows us to uh, perform really good operations like uh, changing the UI to make the user aware of what is happening in the app the data that is getting changed so now let's go ahead and perform the delete operation okay so the name was deleted let's go ahead and update check if it was deleted in the backend as well okay so you can see the James bond or Jai bond was deleted from the backend so our CRUD operation is working uh, great and uh, it is working successfully so that's it for this tutorial guys and I'm sure you will find this informative and very useful for creating your apps uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel and subscribe to our newsletter for such informative and uh, helpful videos and we keep posting on the latest technologies related to react native and uh, so if you have any doubts or if you find any issues with this uh, tutorial make sure you uh, uh, you can just ask it in the comments on this on our website or you can even ask it on our youtube channel and we will promptly respond to you and thank you guys so much for watching this video and checking this uh, tutorial and have a nice day Love you all.